Hi Craig, well this type of attack is something no one ever hopes happens, but they prepare for just in case. Workers at this hospital and hospitals everywhere train for situations just like this. Here in Dayton, they say the disaster plan worked like a well-oiled machine, but these doctors will tell you something like this is never easy. They went ahead and activated the disaster response. As the only level one trauma center in the Dayton area, most of the victims from Sunday's mass shooting were taken to Miami Valley Hospital. So I did come in because it did appear that there would be more uh, victims than we normally receive at any point in time. The trauma center's director, Dr. Peter Eke, was sleeping at home when the attack happened. He got the call and rushed in to help. I asked Dr. Eke if he thought they were prepared for such a tragedy. What I saw when I came in and the event so far definitely convinced me of that. And that didn't occur by accident. Um, drills help. The hospital has regular disaster drills with staff and with first responders, which Dr. Eke says led to a strong, coordinated response to this shooting. So I saw evidence that the system worked. In the moment, these doctors and first responders act fast to save as many lives as they can. But after the dust settles, the reality of what happened can set in. These things sometimes do take a toll. And we check up on each other and we have mechanisms internally to make sure that we are looking after our own emotional health as well. The Miami Valley Hospital received 17 patients from this shooting. Of those 17, all but three have been sent home. One person is still in serious condition, another in fair condition, and the third is in stable condition. Reporting live outside Miami Valley Hospital in Dayton, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.